Now there is a striker in the Premier League right now that is being completely overlooked, overshadowed by the likes of Haaland, Nunes, Ivan Tony, and even me. Jib. I used to play striker five aside, Trent Park. Now Ollie Watkins has been a bagsman ever since he was even in the championship with Brentford. And for some reason, nobody has ever spoke about his seamless transition between coming up from the championship and displaying his brilliance in the Premier League. Time and time again, I have seen flashes of this guy showing that he can do it all. And recently, he's been named on an international level, being known as that backup striker behind Harry Kane that will never actually get a chance unless Harry Kane probably breaks two kneecaps, which hopefully, never happens. This season, Oli Watkins has been a versatile force in the Premier League and I think a lot of big clubs are looking at him. Now, strikers in the Premier League is also a big conversation that I would love to make a different video about because if you look at the types of strikers that we have in this league, bro, we have elite strikers everywhere and even the bad ones could do well somewhere else in the world. Look at Fulham, for example. They have Raul Jimenez who has everything all the attributes to be a really good striker for any top team. I'd personally take Raul Jimenez as a backup to Jesus or even someone that can lead the line at Arsenal. He's got just a little bit about him. But this is a video not about Raul Jimenez. This is a video about Olivia Watkina, who is actually a childhood Arsenal fan. And the other day I was watching his top five strikers. This man has taste. Putting Thierry Henry at number one is the only obvious answer for a striker in the league. You look up to strikers and the one that you really want to be like is Henry. Dribble with the ball set up his teammates, score a solo goal, also score poacher goals, also score, score every type of goal. This season, Watkins has nine goals and around seven assists, and we are like in January. And another thing I like about him is that he's so durable. He hardly ever gets injured. He's got like 97% playing rate. Like he always is in that Aston Villa team. And even on a bad performance, he still puts the work in. I know we like to talk about strikers, you know, if they're having a bad performance, they'll just at least run down the ball, press the ball. But we say that for the likes of Eddie and Ketia. But he seems to be pressing the ball every single game because I don't remember the last time he scored an actual goal. Now, aside from scoring, his ability to be able Able to pick out his teammates and provide a goal scoring opportunity is also making him an all round striker. Oli Watkins is really showing that he can display different attributes week in and week out. We don't really see strikers with a lot of assists, and the ones that do have a lot of assists are the elite. He is vital to Aston Villa's success this season and for some reason just no one even speaks about him. We've been hearing conversations about Douglas Luiz being you know the, the centre of everything in the Aston Villa side but without a good striker you wouldn't really be anywhere. They have no backup. Who is Aston Villa's backup striker? You can't, I don't even know. John Carew. Bro. So Oli Watkins is holding down that mantelpiece and is providing on all forms of attack. His link up with the likes of Leon Bailey and Diaby is impeccable. And he's had that connection with the likes of John McGinn since he, you know, started for Aston Villa. One thing that I vividly remember about Oli Watkins that still haunts me to this day is when Aston Villa beat Arsenal 3-0 at home. This was like during lockdown season. This is when Aston Villa still had Jack Grealish. And one of the key people in that game that ridiculed our defense, absolutely, you know, made fun of them all game. One of the players, aside from Jack Grealish, who bodied Hector to Bellerin for that third goal. It was Ollie Watkins scoring two in that game, celebrating against a team that he actually grew up idolizing. Cold strikers. There's a lot of them in the Premier League right now. And Ollie Watkins is, he might be head of the table on current form. You know, Haaland's not really playing right now. Ivan Tony, he's still banned. He's looking for a move somewhere else. Jesus is finished at Arsenal and Ketia's on the bench slumped. Hoisland is singing on Instagram. So head of the table right now is Oli Watkins dictating the play, dictating what's going on. I got nine goals and like seven or eight assists. Who's touching me? Because even when I'm not scoring, I'm assisting. When I'm not assisting, I'm scoring. He's got it all. Being able to hold up play for his teammates to make runs in behind for him to lay it off to them. And his ball carrying abilities are just phenomenal. He averages 34 runs per 90 minutes in the Premier League. That is gold for a creative midfielder. 
And when I look at Aston Villa, they don't even really have a creative midfielder. They don't really play with a number 10. And I feel like if they've had an out and out number 10, he'd have more goals. That's why he's actually converted his gameplay into being able to provide for his teammates because balls aren't always going in behind for him. 34 runs in behind per 90 is is great. You'd want someone in your team that is always on the move, going left, going right, going straight, coming short. And without that, Aston Villa would be a shell of themselves. But that's why they're having such a good season right now. 39 points. It's amazing. Without Ollie Watkins, Emery wouldn't have them 39 points. And overall, I think we just need to start a discussion. Ollie Watkins, is he teetering on becoming an elite striker in this league? Can you name five strikers right now in the Premier League that their overall gameplay is better than Olivier Watkins? Underrated, been a bagsman his whole career. And now we need to give him his flowers. Right now, I'm in the midst of trying to talk about the Premier League strikers. So if you've got any you know, underrated names that are in the Premier League that are starting striker for their football team, then let me know in the comments below. Tell me what you think about Olivier Watkins. And yeah, leave a like, comment and subscribe. This has been Jib Rules. Stay safe, stay blessed and uh, peace.